Oh, sorry about that. Apparently, Audacity was saving to my SSD and got full. So I'm not sure how many minutes you missed of no microphone there. But um, hopefully it won't happen again. No, it wasn't this way. Yeah, it was this way because we couldn't go the other way. Did we reload this one? Damn, that was uh, unfortunate. Well, what can you do? Luckily I noticed it. I didn't play for like 10 hours or something and didn't have any space. No? This looks like a place that you could find uh, key codes, codes. Yep, I have a feeling. Okay, the mysterious book. King and the pauper both know it. Evil and good understand that. Yell all you want, it won't open the door. I see. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is not the place. Oh god. Now we can unlock it. Oh, new level! Wait, so here we have a short note. Door 1, 4, 3, 3, 4. Door number 1, 4, 3, 3, 4. Number... One five nine three. Okay, good. Then ammo, rusty titi pistol. Maybe it's better than what we have. Let's see. We're also encumbered, so let's see what's heaviest. Eat a few of those. Then we have to check the gun. Yeah. Was it this one? Ah, it's dot 30 ammo even. So we don't have much ammo for the dot 30. That's the same like the revolver. Okay. Did we check this one? Yep. What's in here? Toilet paper. Cough, cough. No, not there. Thing in here to loot. Ah, oh, here's a door. There's. Oh fuck, is that a mutant? What the fuck is that? Got the gun already. You suddenly feel that somebody's watching you. You feel it so intense that it gives you the heebie jeebies. Look around. It's hard to see in the dark, dusty room. You squint and anxiously look around the room. Suddenly something really catches your eye. Yes, in a small window in the wall you see a human silhouette. Who's there? Nobody answers. You adjust your sight better and start to distinguish a human shape watching you. It's a gaunt old man with a thick overgrown beard. He is dressed in dirty tatters and what hap appears to be body parts of giant ant mutants. Oh, it's Santa. The man wears a sever severed ant head as a kind of helmet. Two unfocused too unfocused and wild too unfocused and wild fiery eyes looks upon you from an un, from under the sharp jaw an ant shell protects his body like a medieval cuirass the strained watcher holds in both hands ant legs or ant feelers the, the ends of which are directed at you finally the raspy voice of strange man breaks the silence coughs <clears throat> And Gavrilov is asking himself a question. What is the thing in front <coughs> of him? Ant, rat or human? Human. The man puts the feelers out in front of him and begins to move them like pointers. Finally he nods with satisfaction and lowers his hands. That answer is correct. Chemical k k composition corresponds to a human female. So does the appearance. Gavrilov the ant sees himself in the human, however, himself before transformation. Uh, 
man, did you happen to be an Atom employee? And Gavril and Gavrilov is not. And Gavrilov is confused by this question because doesn't understand what his human is talking about. Perhaps Gavrilov the ant can discuss other topics that human is interested in. Uh, who or what are you? And Gavrilov before the rebirth. And Gavril was just Gavrilov, Konstantin Mikhailovich. Yep, it was Ant Gavrilovich, but. Tronimic Gavrilov worked as a main engineer in a bunker 300 in bunker 317. What do you mean by this rebirth? And Gavrilov's brain experienced some alterations, which changed the Ant Gavrilov speech manner. Also forced Ant Gavrilov into consider himself as an ant. Here it is, the rebirth. I see. I have another question. Did a squad of troops pass by here? And Gavrilov indeed has seen the big squad or humans of humans recently. They entered the bunker laboratory by breaking down the first and first door and blowing up the second one. And Gavrilov did not follow them after that, but he heard, heard gunfire. Fewer people left from here than came in before, and Gavrilov suspects some disagreement in the troop was led to a conflict. And Gavrilov had haven't contacted the squad because had been scared. Okay, can I ask another question? I'm doubtful, of course, but have you heard any rumors? And Gavrilov heard that the nuclear bombing happened, but then Gavrilov is not sure this is still important. Another question. Tell me about the bunker. And Gavrilov doesn't know why this bunker was built, but and Gavrilov has own suspicions, and Gavrilov supposes some experiments were carried out here to invent a new type of weapon or to improve the old ones. And Gavrilov has the vague impression these giant ants living in the structure appeared here as a result of this experiment, but it's only my wild guesses. Okay. Listen, can you help me somehow with the bunker? Yeah, that's the code we got. The human might have noticed that many systems in the bunker are operational, even though they should have wor stopped working many years ago. Gabriel of the ant occupies his time by fixing equipment to keep himself alive. Moreover, Gavrilov, the ant, knows the codes to many of the bunker doors. The code for the first door in the laboratory is 4334. The code from the second door is no longer important, since the people who were here earlier blew it up. Give, given that the human is most likely interested in these people, this can help. Thanks. Can I ask you another question? Uh, we've asked him all questions. I have no more questions anymore. And Gavrilov does not mind speaking anymore. And Gavrilov is hungry for a chance to talk. But listen, you're a human, and the human is wrong, and Gavrilov is an ant, and Gavrilov was indeed human once, but this time has long passed. Well, but wait, how did you become an ant? It's impossible. And Gavrilov went through a rebirth process, and Gavrilov's brain experienced malterations, uh, to me, uh, speechcraft, let's try that one. Success! Oh my god, we did it. No, it didn't, but to admit it, to accept it, this would mean that Ant Gavrilov wasted his time sitting underground for about 20 years. He missed the sunlight and he missed the society for nothing. And this is hard truth to swallow for Ant Gavrilov. Uh, option 1. The surface wood world isn't exactly rainbows and butterflies nowadays. You didn't miss a lot. But now a guy with your skills is in about as much demand as clear water. Let's do that one. The man raises his eyes to you. They're full of hope. Is the human sure? Gavrilov, the ant is slightly worried, however. Hmm, he's ready to take a risk. Thank you, human, for the making for making the ant Gavrilov open his eyes. Even if Gavrilov is destined to die in this dangerous and bloodthirsty world in which into which the surface of the planet has, has undoubtedly turned, it will be worth it. Be careful out there. Good luck. Oh maybe he opened the door for us now. Failed to break the lock. Oh, we did it. Nice. Maybe there's some epic loot in here. Were we supposed to kill him? In cupboard. Doesn't matter. To eat some. Come on, can we give something to this guy then? He's also like heavy. Mm -hmm. 
let's get rid of these ones. And then get uh, these ones. Trade 66, 15. We can drop these. There's so many here that there's no use carrying these ones. Okay, neat. Spoon. Maybe we should have killed him. That could have given some epic loot if we had some awesome. Nah. We were nice and let let him see the world. What is better than that? Oh, here's some. No, it's vending machines. Inventory. What to find? So. We can open those doors at least. Let's go in here. There's lots of lockers here. Maybe get some extra XP. Let's go one back. Stab. The weapon seems quite bad now. He's just hitting for two. Or Low, low damage. Yeah, it's probably dull. Come on. Nothing of use, I'm guessing. Ammo is always welcome. Good. We can probably start the merchant somewhere. Start uh, selling ammo and stuff. On survival. Why not? I need those anyway, but yeah, we actually don't need those anyway anymore. Can our followers get poisoned? I think that's a fair question, actually, because if they don't, we don't need those and we can sell them. Explosive substance with a makeshift timer, a handy item to have around. Nice. That was actually really good. Then we have these ones. Ah, oh, fuck it. We don't need these. Drop. Let's kill you. Okay, now we hit for five. Ah, oh, we haven't used our a level also. We need to go through those ones. Let's see. It costs four, so we can't use one yet. How about our, our awesome friend? He has six and it costs one. We should go with this guy. He should go maybe hold it harder. Okay, so it's throwing. Discount everyone. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do with this one. We need to go see if we stick to melee with him or... Ooh, that was awesome. 10 ammo. the shower okay now we need to go to the library not uh, to the lab how's his health by the way now you get him no stab him in the pooper I think we checked this room. No, we didn't. This is totally new. Wonder what the bomb is for. Can we blow something open? I'm expecting them to be on the outside and attack us when we come. Those uh, that were supposed to help us. And if you're wondering why I have the help, this uh, this one on, it's still Christmas for me. It's not gonna be for you when you watch it, but to me it's still Christmas. Nothing in this room. I wish they would have told me. Would have stayed away. Did we loot everything here? Now we checked this one. We checked that one. This and that. Here we've been. There. Yep, we've been there. Then we go to this room. No, 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 no. Uh, it's this door. Oh God. There's been lots of killing here. Maybe they have good weapons, which I'm hoping, really hoping. This was 4334, door key 4334. the gun here I'm a bit schizo I would say schizo means that I'm worried okay nothing here anything behind here let's go check this door then Scanner. A secret, a secret project by the Soviet scientists used to scan environments in search of bugs and weapons. Works when it feels like it, but might lead you to a nice stash. Guess you need to walk slowly here. I don't know, this feels uh, quite good. <laughs> oh, we're encumbered, that's why we can't uh, run. Let's eat some of these. Ah, it's like holding a uh, alt. Mysterious talisman, crude work of the modern master, rough image of something resembling a mushroom he made from cheap metal. Okay, Fidel. Carefully stepping over the corpse and scattered equipment, Fidel approaches you. He nods with a quizzical expression on his face and asks you quietly, Did you find anything interesting? What can you tell me about this trinket? Show the mysterious charm. Uh, Fidel examines the mysterious charm with interest and finally smirks with surprise. That's strange. I expected to see something more puzzling. What do you mean? Tell me all you know. Uh, we got the exp This is a very strange, but... Do you know... Who wears such charms around here? Move into microphone. 
one cult has its own building in Krasnostmenyanya. They are called the Mushroom Cult. What do you know about them? A mushroom cult. Did they call themselves after a nuclear mushroom or a regular one? No idea. Their logo looks like a mushroom, but which one? That's a tricky question. Although I'm sure if asked about it, they'd tell there's some symbolism to, you, to it. What do you know about them? This is like a new age religion. They call themselves philosophical movement, scientific and educational organization, a charity and other nice words. But in reality, they are a simple gimmick of occult, es esoteric, syncretic type, occult in short. The mushroom cult is a sort of a center in Krasnomest Menyanya, in the building of an old research institute. I've, n I've never regarded them as a possible threat, just because they look like complete idiots. However, they clearly have money. Okay, yeah, that's the ones that we talked to actually earlier in many episodes ago. We need to gather more information. Their propagandist is walking in the suburb of Krasimenyanyanya. We could go see him, or we could, for example, contact the source I know. He's most probably resting in a casino on an old barge in the old city port, although he does charge a lot for the information. But I could persuade him to give us a discount. All right, Fida, let's hit the road then. Uh, I want to find some weapons. Ammo is also good. Map is even also good. Let's use this one, see what happens. This is the... Yeah, yeah this is... Krasemanyanyanya, and this is the... Ortavarianyanya. Let's take them. Might be worth something, who knows. What are these one? Okay, so it shows if there's nothing in the corpse also. What the fuck? Damn it! I want to have some cool, like, uh... Epic, epic loot. like to see what's in these uh these ones can you see there's some things in them but i can't the, um, open them or like see information does it really check if there's nothing on the corpses what the actual fuck this is a bit too overpowered for me it feels like yep what this this thing what kind of experiments they were doing here I don't know what were they doing here wish we could like see information on it nothing uh, what? attention you spot some strange scratches on the floor near the one of the bookshelves just on the floor near one of the bookshelves is that here what attention you spot some strange scratches on the floor near one of the bookshelves uh-huh how does that help I can't do anything here Bookshelf. Attention, you spot uh, some strange scratches on the floor near one of the bookshelves. Okay. Can I do something about it, or was that it? Or am I supposed to blow this place up? Do we try that one? No. Do we try it? We can save, put the bomb. Do I use it like this or? 10. Drop. 1. Come on, Fidel Castro. You need to move. Oh, yep, it opened. Oh shit, I shit myself there. Put this one. Oh, g oh my god. What is, what is it? 
Looks like a huge fucking spider. Strange devices cover a lot of space in this little room. Obviously somebody has been here recently. What? A mysterious laboratory flask. Now it's broken, but what was its content? So we didn't get anything here. Did we blow this up and not get shit? That was disappointing. Dead woman. Oh, we can't do anything on this one. Yeah. So we wasted the explosions. But uh, it was still quite fun. I guess. No, wait, 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 wait. We have the machine. The machine of Satan, though. That was this one. Maybe this must see something we don't. Gun. Rusty Makarov. No, oh, come on. Anything else here? Nah. No. This is really nothing we can loot here. Nothing that I would actually can click on. Nope. Nothing on the wall? On the doors? No. Okay. Too bad. What's on this one then? Well, we found the uh, stuff we were looking for apparently, and that was the This one can go here. And this item is really good that we now have. Uh, yeah, we found uh, the rusty medallion or whatever. Maybe we can see if we find something interesting with this one. Maybe it this one just kind of feels like... Oh, wait. Door number two. Examine the door. No, we don't have the strength for this. We're not getting any more strength. Oh, we have 34 skills to put out. This one has 17. Oh, we could have used the explosions here. Yeah. Damn. We can probably build more. Or f uh, buy more. I'm gonna write down that we can go here later with the new bomb. Bunker. 317. Bring C4 to closed room. Bit of a to do list. Okay, then we go up, and I'm expecting there to be trouble upstairs. No. Apparently not. This item was really good. But outside, I'm expecting there to be trouble. Where's this Fidel Castro guy? You coming? Wanna see his health before we go out. Twenty-two. Let's give him um, some kashpirapirap. Give him more of the kashpirapirap. There we go. And now we go out. We saved.